Hello friends, welcome to N Universe Double Two. In this video, we will discuss about measurement of pressure. And before discussing about measurement of pressure, firstly we have to know about the fundamental SI unit of pressure, that is a Newton per meter square. And as we know, SI unit of pressure. that is newton per meter square or it is also known as pascal and that is generally denoted by pa and uh, the low pressure basically expressed in terms of mm of water mm of mercury and firstly i here to say the standard atmospheric pressure so that has some equivalent values the standard atmospheric pressure that has some equivalent value these values are first one is it is equivalent to 101.3 kilo newton per meter square or we can say that is equivalent to 101.3 kilo pascal and this is also equivalent to 10.3 meter of water and this is also equivalent to 760 mm of mercury and that is also equal to 1000 Thirteen millibar. Say that is one bar. That is hundred kilo pascal. That is ten raised to power five newton per meter square. so when the local atmospheric pressure is not given in the problem generally we take it 100 kilo newton per meter square or 10 meter of water for simplicity of calculations so now we are moving towards the measurement of pressure so when we are discussing about the measurement of pressure then the pressure measurement instruments can be categorized these are categorized first category is that is instrument for measuring low pressure instrument for measuring low pressure so here question arises what is the low pressure that is generally below 1 mm of mercury so when such type of condition arise then we consider or we measure the pressure with the help of a manometer and here what is the manometer manometer these are the device used for measuring the pressure at a point in a fluid by balancing the column of fluid by same or another column of the liquid and again there is further categorization of the manometer first is simple manometer and second is differential manometer and in simple manometer there are further categorization that is piezometer another one u tube manometer or another is single column manometer 
सिंगल कोलम मैनोमीटर एंड द अनदर्स आर द इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट इज लो प्रेशर गेज इज आल्सो यूज लो प्रेशर गेजेस सो दीज आर द सम इंस्ट्रूमेंट विच आर यूज फॉर मेजरिंग द प्रेशर वेन वी हैव द कंडीशन अबाउट दैट इज वन एम एम ऑफ मर्करी एंड सेकेंड कैटेगराइजेशन दैट अबाउट इंस्ट्रूमेंट फॉर मीडियम एंड हाई प्रेशर इंस्ट्रूमेंट फॉर मीडियम एंड हाई प्रेशर so here question arises what is the range for medium and high pressure this range that uh, lies between 1 mm of mercury to 1000 atmosphere so when there is a need to measure the pressure between 1 mm of mercury to 1000 atmosphere then we are using the Borden tube. Second, diaphragm gauges. Next, bellow pressure gauges or dead weight. pressure gauge so these are some mechanical gauges and here these are the device in which pressure is measured by balancing the fluid column by spring or dead weight and these gauges are used for measuring the high pressures and uh, where high precision is not required and another category that I, that i want to discuss here that is uh, number 3 instrument for measuring basically low vacuum low vacuum and ultra high vacuum and the range for it that is 760 ter to 10 raised to power minus 9 ter and beyond 1 ter equal to 1 mm of mercury so this is the range when the pressure that is from 760 ter to 10 raised to power minus 9 ter and beyond and here 1 ter that is equal to 1 mm of mercury so when such type of the condition arise then we can measure the pressure with the help of mecloid thermal conductivity and ionization gauges so this is the third condition so when we are discussing about fourth condition for measuring the pressure this is for these are the instruments for measuring very high pressure and what is the range for that high pressure that is 1000 atmosphere and above 
so when such type of the condition arises then we need to measure the pressure then we take Borden tube diaphragm gauges and last electrical resistance pressure gauge so friends in this video we have learnt about the various instrument for measuring the pressures and here we understand lots of the instrument and lots of the ranges in which how to measure the pressures and what are the gauges for measuring the pressure and if you like this video please share with the friends and students don't forget to subscribe and universe double two and if you like this video please share with your friends thanks for watching have a nice day